Michael Roberts has been at the forefront of creating access to capital for Native American communities. As the president of First Nations Development Institute, he leads the investment and creation of innovative institutions like CDFIs and models that strengthen and support economic development for American Indian people and their communities. Michael's leadership has resulted, resulted in expanded economic opportunities for tribal communities across the country by creating access to capital, affordable housing, and financial inclusion that have led to long-term and sustainable change. He was appointed the president of First Nations Development Institute in 2005 after returning to that organization in 2003. He previously served as the Institute's chief operating officer until 1997. Michael taught a graduate course on venture capital at the University of Missouri, Kansas City, Block School of Business, and an undergraduate entrepreneurship course at Haskell Indian Nations University. Michael serves on the board of First Nations Development Institution, Institute and is chairman of the board of First Nations Owiski Corporation. I, I apologize, I got that wrong. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Michael Roberts. Thank you. Um, Gundashesh Yaktatani, thank you for allowing me to speak. Um, I'm Mike Roberts. I'm a, a member of the Clinkett Nation. Um, for you, those of you who thought you might see me in traditional regalia, this is it for us Clinkets. Usually we have a um, pocket version of Roberts Rules of Order. Um, I didn't, I, 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 I missed pack today, so I don't have that. Um, I also should note that I'm, I'm from a, a long line of Clinkett orders. And on my mom's side, I'm half white, which allows me a lot of white privilege. And so I think I can be up here for a good, what, half hour, 45 minutes? What is <laughs> um, seriously, a, a big thank you to Dr. Rocky Moore and the, and the Global Center. Um, from a First Nations point of view, from an Indian country point of view, we are very thankful that We've been part of the agenda at the Global Center from the very beginning, and that's a very rare thing for us in Indian country, so thank you for that. Um, I also know that while um, this award has Mike Roberts' name on it, that this really is more of an accomplishment for First Nations Development Institute, um, and even more important than that, for the communities we, we work with. We um, are very privileged in our work to work with very innovative folks in reservation communities and very impoverished communities who are working to stem the asset stripping that's been going on for more than 500 years. And First Nations is lucky enough to invest with them, work alongside them, and help them achieve their, their dreams and missions. And, and, and so this is really an Indian country win, um, and, uh, and we, are, um, we know that. Um, I also I wanted to note that I um, took over for a very visionary leader who started this organization and um, an even more visionary board. And really, my job here at First Nations was like, not to fuck that up, really. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, and 11 years in, I, ha I haven't done that. Um, that my, my real goal is to hire really small, smart people, um, try and put fuel in the tank and then get the heck out of the way. And, and that really is what I do well. Um, more so the fundraising, less so the getting out of my staff's way, but um, I'm working on that. Um, but I know that also that I didn't get here on my own. There's a lot of broad shoulders I, st I stand on. Um, some of the folks in this room, um, Kilolo, good to see you. Um, sorry not to see you at Ford anymore, we miss you. Um, but there's, there's one person who's not in this room who's been very important to my being here, and, and he is one of Kilo's colleagues at the Ford Foundation, a lady named Lynetta Gilbert, who inherited us, First Nations, 
um, as part of her portfolio, who inherited me, um, very unformed, um, who believed in me and our mission, and in some weird way has adopted me as her son. I'm not really sure how, I, how that happened, but um, she has very, very been very instrumental in investing in Indian country, investing in, in First Nations, investing in me to put us here today. And so for that, I'm very thankful. Um, mostly, I am um, humbled to be in the presence of the fellow recipients and uh, see a whole bunch of other dignitaries in the room that I, I would like to get my picture taken with. So thank you very much. <laughs> Good night. Fantastic. Give Michael Nebb a round of applause.